spotted a safe course for your boat. Don't tamper with it. The shoal near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I'll catch up to you. Further, Mainlander. When Auntie Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death, they laughed at her. Then, two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. Right? Meet you there, and get prepared. Got to be the red glowing eyes. I mean, when the fog's thick, that little fella is deadly in his own fashion. The shoals around here are treacherous. A middling captain with a might of curiosity would run aground for certain. And this far from shore, that'll end you. Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> there it is. My whole life. I've been having nightmares about a little Mirelurk. <sighs> what do we say to all the folk back home? I meant this to be my last great adventure. Instead, if we tell the folk back at town, I'll be a laughing stock. Would it really be that big of a deal? You've no idea how pig-headed and relentless harbormen can be. Or maybe you do story will be told for generations. It never pays to lie. Easy for you to say. You don't have to live with those louts. Ugh, let's go. I thought, I got this for you to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Mariner. It wasn't supposed to be like this.
Oh, uh, we set sail, and we found, uh, Red Death. It was a mire look. A bit, uh, smaller than we expected. So as big as one of the queens? Well, smaller than that. What? Like a giant hunter? Them's big too. Huge claws. Well, no. So, how big are we talking? A bit bigger than a... Dog? Dog? The, the Red Death is a tiny little crab? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well then. I'm glad you brought the mainlander. Otherwise, you'd be dead for sure. You need a mini nuke? Or three? <laughs> Big game. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, I'm Aaron. Seems like the end of the road. Every time we've talked, you've given me a lot to think about. Might be time to come clean. Tell the others about my condition. But now, all they'll say is what a fool I am. After all I've done. So what's your plan? I'm working on it. I mean, at the end of it all, what's worth doing in your final days? What's worth leaving behind? You can never go wrong helping your friends and family. It certainly seems like the harbor would still fall into the sea without me. But no matter what happens, or what goes down. You were a true friend. You ain't on. You ain't long for this world. I like that. Yeah. Richter, please, you can't do this. We've been it's loyal- It's Zealot to you, and your dedication has come into doubt. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other will return to Adam. Richter, this is insane. You can't expect us to- Will there be anything else? That'll be all, sister. Thank you, Grand Zealot. Hi there. You. What are you doing here? 
did Far Harbor send you? What's your problem with Far Harbor? Those heathens persecute our missionaries and use profane technology to steal land that rightfully belongs to Adam. Not sure which sin is worse. And I want you to assure me you're not here to do their bidding. What profane technology are you talking about? Acadia's little lifeline to that den of sin. The fog condensers. The only reason they're able to hang on to that blasted dock. Information you'd be well aware of if they'd sent you. So, explain to me why you're trespassing on sacred ground. Unless... you're here seeking a place among Adam's children. Adam's children? Who are they? We are the children of Adam. Servants of the creator of this and all worlds. You walk through his domain. What do you mean, his domain? The island. You've seen the fog? Heard the Geiger counter on your little bracelet pipe up? That is Adam. Spreading his glow across this land. And that glow is the path to our salvation. So, you worship... radiation? We worship its ability to transform. To create something better. Why? That idea called to you? What was happening with those two children of Adam you were, uh, interrogating? An issue of loyalty. Not something you need to concern yourself with. Now, unless you've come to join Adam's faithful, I suggest you go on your way. I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. Decisions of who may enter our family we leave to Adam. You'll have to perform a ritual. Prove yourself worthy in his eyes. By doing what, exactly? There is a small spring not far from here. Those chosen by Adam drink and are granted something. A token, an experience. Those not chosen rarely return. All right. I'll do what Adam requires. Then let us hope he deems you fit. Go to the spring drink. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful.
password. Must be some clue around here. No accounting for taste. back. More than I expected. Did Adam reveal something to you? I drank from the spring and was led to this statue, but was it supposed to be by a creepy woman? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was... <laughs> like a living shadow cloaked in mist adam above you really did see her the mother of the fog the mother is a messenger from adam acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family she's the one who led the first of us to this place and if she revealed herself to you then i'd say the path he's laying for you is clear if you are prepared to take the next step then i believe there is a place for you among adam's children do you mind if I ask you some questions first? If you must. So, what exactly happened to me at the spring? Seems Adam granted you a vision. Only those deemed worthy of joining the children have them. And live. But for some rare souls, he sends more. A messenger. Or in your case, the mother. So... Was the mother real? Most people believe she's some sort of spirit, a creature of the wilds, though a few claim she's just an old hermit. Regardless, our family wouldn't be here without her. If she figured in your vision, well, there are few signs clear you're meant to be one of us. What can you tell me about the children's beliefs? Our belief is in Holy Adam, who struck this world two centuries ago, wreathing it in his glow. That glow is the children's way out of this place. To division. What's division? Release. Release of your potential. Of all the worlds locked away inside you. 
broken apart and reborn a thousand times over through the glow. Island's the perfect place for it, thanks to the fog, the nucleus, glow everywhere. With patience, we'll all find division in this place. Are you willing to tell me what was happening between you and those two children when I showed up? Our family is built on trust. Many people on this island would kill us without thought. Those two needed to prove they could be trusted. One did. That was all the questions I had. You're ready to take your place among Adam's children, then? Sure. I'm willing to learn. Good. Maybe we should just focus on getting Kasumi home. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. I have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this, we are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother. taste. Believe the confessor is wrapping up his sermon. You should head inside. They are doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy form. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff at us behind their condensers. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the lives no longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets given away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's veil will roll down its streets, holy fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Adam! Glory to Adam! Blessings to the High Confessor will keep us safe on the path to division. Oh. Pardon oh, me, please. brothers. Ah, our family has gotten a little bigger. Welcome. Must, must continue. Where? Please, leave me alone. Oh, sorry. Devin. For Adam, I will not falter.
There you are. I have a job for you. What kind of job? A matter of heresy that needs to be dealt with. I'm ready to serve, Grand Zealot. There is a woman, one of our own. Or she was, Gwyneth. But she's given herself over to something dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Thiel to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. Why have me do this? You have other zealots who probably know the area better. Consider it a test. Prove your dedication to the family. We can't try talking to her. Maybe she'll see reason. Won't lie. Sister Gwyneth was a good woman. But whatever's driven her to this lunacy, I'm not sure how much it's left behind. Regardless, the High Confessors decided her abandonment of Adam's too great a sin. The refusal of his grace can't be permitted. I'll find her, Grand Zealot. Good. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. We're sucking down a lot of rats sticking around here. Sister. Another child. Dead at the hands of Far Harbor. Barbarous animals. I was wondering when I'd get to meet our newest member. I'm Sister Mai, and rumor has it, you're the one who caught the attention of the Mother of the Fog. You happen to catch the Grand Zealot's, uh, loyalty test too? Loyalty test? Yeah. We saw Richter leading those two outside. Only one came back right around the time you showed. Figured you were probably witness to the whole thing. Yeah, I saw it. Hmm. Look. It's a lesson worth learning now. Trust is a big deal in this family. Our members need to know how to steer clear of trouble. Just stay on the High Confessor's good side and you'll be alright. Now, there's something I can show you? And, uh, not sure if the glow bothers you, but I can help with scouring too. You mentioned scouring? What's that? Oh, right. Well, most of us here, the glow doesn't harm us. But Adam's 
picky about sharing his blessing. We keep some anti-rad meds on hand for those in need. Most folks around here, High Confessor included, consider it kind of a penitence. Scour oneself and embrace the glow anew. So, did you want to bruise the goods? Was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. Well, there is a project I'm kind of stuck on. I assume you saw the old rad decontamination arches on the way in. I've been trying to fix them for a while now, but I hit a snag. I need a pump regulator with some serious chemical shielding, industrial grade. And if any place on this island is going to have one, it's the Vimpop factory. The place is swarming with mutants, but if you're up for it, I can make it worth your while. You interested? Why fix the decontamination arches? Don't they get rid of radiation? Not the way I rigged them. I bypass the filters, so once we get the regulator in place, we'll have a clean way to get a big dose of glow. So, you game to recover it for me? What kind of reward are we talking here? For you risking life and limb for my pet project? I've got an old radium rifle I've been tinkering with. You bring the regulator back, it's yours. I actually think I already found it. You did? Oh, fantastic. So that regulator should slot right into the apparatus downstairs. My bypass to the filters should take care of the rest. Unless I mess something up. Those arches should start spraying all the irradiated water the children could ask for. I was thinking, since you did all the heavy lifting, you ought to be the one to christen the old girl. Plug in the final piece? You willing to do the honors? So, all you did was bypass the decontamination filters? Well, if you want to oversimplify the heck out of it, yeah. Pretty much. I had to hook up a little rig to support my fix. But so long as that keeps working, it should keep the rads coming. So, you willing to finish the job? getting this thing for you. I think I've earned some caps. Suppose that's fair. I can swing, say, 150. Trust me, if you'd seen this place, you'd know that's not enough. I, mutants, floor to ceiling. Wow, really? Okay, sure, 250. I'm not sure you're grasping what I went through here. Have I described the smell to you yet? All right, all right, 350. But that's as high as I can go. Could the bypass be reversed? Uh, sure. Theoretically, if my rigging failed, which is possible. There are going to be some wet, unhappy children of Adam, though, if that happens. But we're not going to know either way until that regulator's in place. Now, how about you take care of that missing piece? Sure. I can take care of that. Great. Pump's down in the bay. Shouldn't give you any trouble. And here, for what you've done. Zealot Ware seems so interested in Brother Devon's fast. I wonder if he's thinking about joining him. you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? Slobbering goon? Do people have bad reactions to the spring? Few make it through the ritual intact. Sort of the point. A vision from Adam is a great honor. Not something to be granted to the unworthy. So tell me, what did you see? So the spring is supposed to hurt people? The spring shows who's capable of serving Adam and who is not. Clearly Adam saw your strength and blessed you with the vision of... A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the Mother of the... How did... 
I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. So, you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith, and guardians of the Nucleus. Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, is actually a soldier of some rank in his old life, if the rumors are true. Adam ever grant you any visions? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. Made do for a couple years. Adam's Vale hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then... came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive. Thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge. Drinking puddles and salt water. Until I stumbled on a spring. THE spring. Vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her. At least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie. When Tectus confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait, hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared. And we knew it had to be her. Why not just ignore her? Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat to you? No. That is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it ah, rarely lacks for excitement. The latest addition to our uh, little family. Welcome, child. If you are in need of aid, you've come to the right place. You don't sound so great. Are you all right? Old wounds. Reminders of a wicked life. What sort of wicked life? I was a doctor. In Far Harbor, I fell for a pious man. A man who has since abandoned us. We were chased from town by those upset with our union. I must have angered Adam as well as he afflicted me with this. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Certainly. Here. Sister Gwyneth's heresy cannot be committed to you. You should get out of here.
faithless must be punished. Adam's chosen must bring judgment to his enemies. Pardon me. Unless you've suddenly taken over as High Confessor, you can wait until morning. The vessel is breathtaking, is it not? A machine dedicated to spreading Adam's glow. I mean, glory to a- Wait, you're the new convert. You happen to see Brother Devon, the sickly guy praying off by himself. Who? Brother Devon, the skinny guy near the entrance to the bay, starting to look like a ghoul with hair. You can't miss him. See, Brother Devon, he's been on a fast, a long one. No food, only irradiated water waiting for a sign from Adam. Most folks would say that's real admirable, giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Why? What do you think? I've got my opinions. Right now, I'm interested in yours. What do you think about this fast? I mean, it's his choice, right? Who are we to stop him? That's easy to say, but... Look, me and Devin, we're... We weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us. Now Devin thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. I've tried talking to him. He won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I... I know we don't know each other, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up, Recipe, too. Damn handy for folks like us. What do you say? Talk to him for me? Anti-rad meds? Are those allowed? No one's gonna bother you about scouring off the globe, if that's your concern. They understand we weren't all born with his blessing. But my brew will clear away some rads and give you a little kick of energy. Anytime I make a batch, you're welcome to some. Give you the recipe to boot. So you think you'd be willing to talk to Brother Devin about this fast of his? Okay, sure. I'll talk to him. Oh, thank you. Please, just do it quick, all right? He's starting to look bad. Spot, I, I, is that you? Oh, holy, oh, I, 
I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? You seem like you're expecting someone. I am. Adam came to me, and I will follow his command. Adam came to you. What did you see? My saving grace. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, I was in the woods, polluting myself, when a figure strode from the sky before me, a verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. How do you know your vision of Adam's messenger wasn't just a hallucination brought on by the drugs? What if it was? Holy Adam spoke to me, promised to free me from my weakness. He gave me a task, and I will obey. When was the last time you used drugs? The day of my vision. Haven't moved from this spot since. So, if you haven't used drugs since then, what makes you think you haven't already kicked the habit yourself? Be because I am weak. But Adam... Adam is strong. When his messenger appears, I will finally know that I have done what I must to be free. Yeah, but... sitting here endlessly? It's suicide. You may be right. But stopping now? Going back to my old ways? That too would be suicide. Here, I have a chance. I have good news. I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. hi -ya! There! Now, uh, let's just keep this between us, okay? You're... You're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. I can't believe it. His messenger. Anytime I brew a new batch, you can have some. And if there's anything else I can do for you, you let me know. You mentioned before you're affected by radiation. Why would you choose to live in a place like this? Sure beats where I came from. Before joining the family, I was a trapper. Lived with a nasty bunch out in the fog. Barely scraping by. Kinda place you slept with a knife under your pillow to make sure no one stole your food. But one day, out hunting, we stumbled upon High Confessor Tectus and his crew on their way to a pilgrimage. We surrounded them, took them captive, figured we could ransom them back for some grub and ammo. I pulled guard duty, and me and the High Confessor get to talking. You can probably figure out what happened next. You turned on the trappers? Mm-hmm. The High Confessor started describing the life I could have at the Nucleus with Adam. Three meals a day, not having to worry about getting eaten in my sleep. Radiation wasn't even that much worse. Plus, I had my brew to handle that. Ended up being a pretty easy decision. I helped the children clean out the trappers and started my new life here. So, something else I can do for you? Why do you care so much about Devin? I mean, he's a good kid. Sure, he likes his jet a little too much, but it's not like he was out raiding. He just needed a hand. And lucky for us both, you showed up. Huh. Kinda makes you wonder if Adam didn't have a part in this after all. So, was there something else? Got any more of your brew? Fresh out at the moment. 
Stop by in a couple of days. Now you need something else? Didn't need anything at the moment. All right, then. Take care of yourself. None shall escape his wrath. None shall 